Jay. Call from Trenton and Jay. I want to buy more crazy. I want to say she's crazy. Too bad, bitch. You're fucking a dead bitch. I don't know who the hell you think you are calling me, but you're fucking dead wrong. You gotta try to listen to my soon. Okay, get your stuff. I've got a homework to do. What? Well, it's seven o'clock. What? I'd have to say it's bedtime for me. Uh, what are you gonna How many times are you gonna can call? I turn off these lights? One. No. You can never turn that to lights. Look, this was the last one. That's not gonna work. It's not flammable. Uh, flammable. Flammable. I don't want to go! Flammable. Why is. Why is that not working? 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 That's what I did to my boss. That's what they did. They psychologically, I had a good, good disposition, right? Go I had a good personality. People liked me, you know. That was the problem. People were jealous because I, I was, I was a good person, right? So, um, but as Aristotle says, you, if you become this person, like nobody's gonna like you, you know. You have. A lot of anger and hatred, and you're careless, and you're and you're dishonest and stingy and vindictive, or disloyal and lazy. You're gonna become all them. They're, they're gonna think you you are all them. But I'm not. I am actually a better person than that. But because they wanted to make me look bad, they they changed everything all around. But I'm not going there with that situation, you know. I'm going to be a better person than them because I know who I am. I know who I was about. I know why. They wanted me because I was a good person. I still am. I am a good person. I am not going to have these people get me so angry for the rest of my life. I'm not going to be that angry, mean person like them assholes. Who are, as Karen says, I'm mean. My son Brandon mean like me. Yeah, I know you're a mean, evil bitch who think you're gonna run to church and 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 they're gonna save you for killing my kids. I don't think so, Karen. Syracusa. Juicy. So. Five five five. Five five five. That's all I gotta say. So, and those are the vices, and I'm in the middle. Okay. But you know what? I'm. I know who I am. The people I went to school with know who I am. I was quiet. I was nice. And it's only a matter of time before the world actually knows who I was. Not what you perceived me to be. So you keep calling me to distract me because I'm reading. We don't want her to read no more. We don't want her to learn. She's not doing what she's supposed to do. Yeah? Good job. Good job. Guess what? Too bad. Too bad. Actually, that could be true. The ethical issues that are treated in the second half of this text are generally controversial social issues, the death penalty, abortion, terrorism. For example, virtue ethics seem more personal. It involves not so much asking which, is, which side of some social issue one should support as what kind of person one should be. What person one should be? You know what? I will. You know what? Let me get my. It's dark in here, so it's you can see it's dark. I'm gonna get. Oh no! I gotta sneeze. That's true. So you turned one of them out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay.
us make good decisions in tough situations, but they also serve us on a daily basis. Virtues such as courage, loyalty, honesty, fairness show up in our interactions with relatives, friends, co-workers. We often think about virtues when we consider how our behavior serves as good or bad behavior, bad model, for our children, students, and colleagues. Now, there was only one call. Wait, wait. Two co-workers that I didn't have, I had a problem with. We don't want to have a read. Virtue ethics. Caller. I guess there's a freaking meeting or something going on tonight. What's the matter? I'm not going to the doctor's office so you can fucking fraudulent and get my signatures. Too bad. Call from wireless caller. So virtue ethics can be useful thinking about the applied issues discussed in the second half of the next. Virtue depends in part on our roles and help us fulfill the requirements of our roles so soldiers ought to be courageous and strong, while teachers ought to be patient and kind. Virtue ethics encourages us to consider the question of how soldier virtues might differ from those of a teacher. Some of the applied topics we discuss have connections with questions about the virtues of various locations and roles. In thinking about in euthanasia, euthanasia and physician assisted suicide. Oh, no wonder they don't want me to read. You assholes. No wonder they don't want me to read. They don't want me to read because that's what they read, they learned, and they're doing against me. Good for you, jerk off. You euthanized my kids. Now you can go to the death penalty. Good job. And physician assisted suicide, for example, issues arise regarding the proper virtues of health care providers. Health care providers. And thinking about the mor mor moral... Uh, Morality of abortion, we might think about proper virtues of parents and lawmakers, as well as doctors. In thinking about morality of war, we consider these assholes, they read too much. They read. They read, and this is where they get their little fucking schemes from. Oh, well, let's do this. Oh, well, let's say this. Okay, let's keep reading about how these people get these ideas from. Let's keep reading. Well, as doctors... In thinking about morality of war, we consider the virtues we associate with military service. There will be overlapping among the virtues found in different vocations, but different roles require different character, traits, and habits. This reminds us that virtue ethics has a pluralistic aspect. There are many different virtues that can be emphasized and integrated in various ways in life of an individual. Moreover, virtuous people tend to be responsive to the unique demands of various situations. They do the right thing at the right time in the right way, exhibiting the sort of practical wisdom that is sensitive to context. From a standpoint of utilitarianism and dentology, which once clearly define rules and principles for action, virtue ethics can seem imprecise and vague, but 
An acid of virtue ethics can, may be its sensitivity to context and its recognition of plurality in morals. Although we probably do not use the term virtuous as frequently today in, as, as in time, times past, we still understand the essence of its meaning. A virtuous person is a morally good person, and virtues are good traits. Another word is useful understanding virtue is the word excellent. The virtues are those things that make us excellent. They allow us to man manifest our highest potential. There is one more. There is more than one thing that makes us excellent. Indeed. Virtues are often described in the plural as a list of qualities that lead to living well. Loyalty is a virtue, and so is honesty. Well, I was loyal, and I'm an honest person and loyal person, but people didn't like that, though, did they? So, what they have to do to change that? It is about determining the ideals of human life and trying to embody these ideals in one's own life. The virtues are ways in which we embody these ideals. For example, we consider honesty to be such an ideal, then we ought to try to become honest persons. Aristotle. Aristotle was born in 384 BCE in Stagna in Northern Greece. Night of his father was a physician for King Philip of Macedonia. Macedonia. Around age 17, he went to study at, at Plato, Plato's Academy in Athens. Aristotle traveled for several years and then for two or three years was a tutor at, to Alexander, Philip's young son, who later became known as Alexander the Great in 835 B.C. You are Alexander the Great. So Aristotle, hmm, Aristotle was Alexander the Great's tutor, Brandon. What? Aristotle, he's a, a philosopher, famous philosopher on different things. He tutored Alexander the Great. That's how my son got his name, Alexander the Great. So Aristotle returned to Athens and organized his own school called the Lyceum. There, he taught and wrote almost all his death, until his death 13 years later in 322 B.C. Aristotle is known not is known not only for its moral theory, but also for writing in logic, biology, physics, metaphysics, art, and politics. The basic notions his moral theory can be found in his Nicomachean ethics, named for his son Nicomachean. 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 As noted in chapter 7, Aristotle was one of the earliest writers to ground morality in nature and specific human nature. His theory of ethics and morality also stressed the notion of virtue. For Aristotle, virtue was an excellence of, sort, of some sort. Our word virtue originally came from the Latin vir, vir and referred to strength or manliness. Manliness. Aristotle's Greek, the term for virtue was arete, a word that can also be translated as excellent. Right. According to Aristotle, there are two basic types of virtue or excellence, intellectual virtues and moral virtues. Intellectual virtues are excellent of mind, such as the ability to understand and reason and judge well. Moral virtues, on the other hand, dispose us as wet, as to act well. <sighs> Got to judge well, 
and to act well. Now I know why they were trying to really distract me from reading the whole entire chapter. They tried, they distract me from reading the whole, I missed a chapter. I missed a chapter about the son eating a father or something like that. That day, that way, they did that on that Wednesday. It's about, um, I forget which one they that. They got Socrates. I didn't read the whole thing of Socrates, that's for sure, but I, you know, I understood it. And then you got the one where, um, I didn't read the whole, I wanted to read this whole entire chapter of relativism, self-contradictory. It's crazy. These people are, think they're funny by distracting me from reading what I want to read. And here, this one here is... When the father, when the, the son ate the father, or was going to eat the father, I don't, know, I don't remember. Got a selfish gene, and the other books in the evolution and altruism have appeared the years. See now, I I missed some things, and they this because they don't want me to learn. So the golden mean. Mark, Brandon, is there a, um... What? I guess she did. All right. Well, that's that. That's what I'm doing. Now I'm going to go back to my YouTube and listen to some more YouTube teachings about this. Then go back to my book. Thank you. 
All right. Praise be to God. Hope is in front of me and my children. Good night. God bless. I'm going to get the kids ready for bed. Brandon, yeah. you need to go take your shower now. Okay. okay. Take a quick one because um, Mark's got to get in there. Billy took a shower. So you got this wireless caller that tried to call. Bring on the liars. We're not giving up till Shane goes, is the kids? I'm not going to give up till I put your lying ass in the prison cell for for it being inhumane to me and my kids. For making too much money. For stealing our lives. I'm tired. You can see that in my eyes. You can see that I'm tired. But I'm in bed. Hi, baby. Mommy takes your pillows. I love my kids. They just it's just so frustrating that I, I when when I'm upset and frustrated because of what's going on that I can't actually stop and be silly with them at the same time. I'm trying to be silly and be frustrated and pissed off at you adult assholes. You assholes, you adult assholes that I, I, it takes my time away from being silly and funny with them. It's really frustrating because I love being funny and silly with my kids. And joking around and goofing off and being silly. But, you know, what can I do? There's nothing I can do until I put the asshole behind bars. So. Right, baby? Come here. Give me kisses. Mommy love you. <laughs> and yeah, why don't you wash your hair real good tonight? Mommy will try to go to the style store tomorrow and get you your medicine. Okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. He's a high dog. He's hiding mommy's kisses. Okay. And we got my cat. What are you doing? Scratching fleas. Please. You gotta scratch your fleas? Hmm? I got a vacuum. Got a vacuum with the fleas. She had a flea. That cat flea. That cat flea? Did you see my cat fleas? Good job. Mm -hmm. Yep. Fleas. Got bugs? No, fleas. I need a flea bomb in my house. Oh, unless my husband says, I don't have none down here. Yeah, well, you put poison down there. I don't know what the hell he's putting down there, but he's. He says he puts uh, boric acid on the floor. Is that good? Can we put boric acid all over the floors? Without the cats getting hurt or somebody getting hurt? Uh, that might be what Billy was had his feet sitting on. I don't know. Because I stuck some boric acid on the floor and vacuumed it up. Over here. So, we'll see. Praise be to God. Hope is in front of me, my children. Peace be with us. Good night. God bless. We're getting ready for bed now. Brandon, go get your shower now. Baby? Yeah. Shower. Don't start another show. Okay? Shower time. Okay. Baby. Amen. Thank you to all my brothers and sisters in Christ. God bless. Take care. And of course, I'm doing homework. So, amen. They're just trying to distract me. So that I don't get all this done so that I can move on with my report that I'm doing. 
They don't want me to do that report properly. I'm a. Um, I think you got a pair here somewhere. There's a pair. Oh, you take them off. They're in. They're they're in the basket. I have to do the basket. Take like a look in the basket. All right, let me stop this. Praise be to God. I got some things to do. Amen. We'll see how it goes. See you in the morning. Unless they decide they're going to call me a hundred times. So they distract me from not doing that report. Because they're wrong. And they know they're going to jail. Just face it. Either kill yourself. Turn yourself in. And face the fact that you're not going to win against me. You will not win against me. You're not. You're not winning. You will lose. And when you lose, you're going to lose bad. Because I've done nothing wrong. And you know it. So, truth be told. Amen.